out with chalkboards and school books, and in with computers and coding. At this primary school in Kibera, a slum in the Kenyan capital, girls are preparing themselves for a future in IT. I think it is important to learn about computers because sometimes maybe if you grow up you can, you can be a person who usually uses computers and you don't know how to use the computer and it will bring a big problem to you. At their weekly code club, pupils learn how computers work with the help of kits donated by an NGO called Code Academy. The aim of the project is to tackle gender discrimination by giving these girls access to technology and hopefully access to jobs. We are doing a lot of coding here uh, with the girls so that at the end of the day, uh, they, uh, they, when they'll be living here, they know at least a bit of some what is the coding and like uh, what does the computer work. I mean, that's the nitty gritty of the computer. Kibera is the largest slum in Kenya. It's a dangerous place where cases of rape are common. For Kibera Girls School head teacher, the after-school computer club is a way to keep pupils out of harm's way. We do not like them to be so much out into the Kibera village because otherwise they would um, engage into things that are not acceptable or they would be abused, maybe child labor, the, the, the many abuses you would think of. So we would like that once we take our girl into, a girl into our program, we keep her and make the space very safe for her learning. Code clubs are being rolled out at schools across Kenya, Uganda and Senegal. Despite the challenges of poverty and discrimination, organizers hope they'll spark an ambition among these girls to become the computer scientists of the future.